Well, hello friends. I am here um, on my lunch hour and thought I would try and squeeze this in. It was um, the poem that I was telling you about um, as I've been processing and as I've been learning and growing. Um, and actually, as I've been talking with some of you, we've been talking about in our breathing sessions, the importance of journaling, the importance of processing our emotions, um, healthy ways and tools in which to do that. We've been talking about our breathing Thing. We've been talking about relieving stress. We've been talking about um, forgiveness. We've been talking about shame and blame. And we've been talking about guilt. Um, and uh, this particular one that we um, have been talking about briefly started to touch on anger. And I just find it amazing that even as we discuss things, the timing of it and the things that I encounter are always so amusing to me. I'm like, wow, that's so crazy that these things are happening now. But it's for two reasons one to accent and um, to remind me of the importance of everyday life and how these things apply that we're discussing and then also having the um, now personal opportunities to practice them and rehearse them myself to consider the challenges and the humanity vulnerabilities and um, the challenges that come with living a life of love and trying to live with healthy emo and um, toxic free and at peace with ourselves and others and loving well. So that's a really tall order. And um, uh, sometimes I like it looks like it looks different in all of its expressions. And this one was kind of making me laugh because in the midst of sometimes when we want to speak or we feel like we have would be justified even to say what we want to say or we, um, what we want to share is a truth that we believe is important and right and fitting doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be helpful. And in this particular the situation I felt like I was supposed to stay bridled like just hold your tongue um, David cried out like this he said Lord put a watch at my gate <laughs> right um, put a like 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 they say put a muzzle on it <laughs> so this little poem is about me um, learning processing um, associating um, feeling the vulnerabilities of understanding the um, frustration buildup that can happen, the insecurities, the fears, all of those things that can contribute to the way that we respond in situations and circumstances. And this particular one, we're kind of highlighting anger. So I hope that it'll be a blessing to you, even as it has been to me in process and in experience and in, um, and in just, uh, sharing some of the lessons that I think um, were helpful to me and hopefully it'll be helpful and a blessing to you to consider in your thoughts. So it's called Ask the Bridled. I seek not to be understood, but I seek to understand. And yet I do not get how things can get so quickly out of hand. For I'm an easygoing soul and reasoning together is what I know. Peace is my life and harmony my goal keeping relationships strong and tender hearts whole. I know it's easy in a crazy world to become frustrated. Things can happen and soon we find we can get aggravated. It's important then to step away and to simply breathe. Don't lose control and leash out. No, don't release the beast. For when you lose and when you let loose and conscience dull, you allow destructive anger to flood your soul. This will surely take its toll and relationships unravel like a toilet paper roll. For anger rests in a soul that's still striving, but in the spirit realm, there is no fighting. What's harder still is paying the price of another's anger it's not fair, it doesn't seem nice, but there's no reasoning with the, with the consuming fire and the need to get out is certainly dire. Emotions run hot like a burning coal. Anger leads to those in its wake in a real hellhole. For where there is strife and unresolved contention, there's every evil work that one could mention. So when I sense this vibration deflation, I have a carefulness to prevent detonation. I stay clear and try and promote detoxification. Then build again in time on a pure, sure foundation. 
Time to be still and introspective. Get back peace with eternal perspective. You'll save yourself from these things destructive and put your energies to something life-giving and constructive. Things to consider in the long run. You gotta love all truth. That's a hard one. Because sometimes in the mirror, we begin to see a very scary character, then realize, hey, that's me. A blind spot or a hard place in our hearts gets revealed, not for our destruction, but so that it can be healed. One thing I know when it comes to me, self-help ain't what it's cracked up to be. This too is a great mystery where one equals two eternally and we're all a part of God's family. If I stop and just look around, help and variations can be found. Love and support, yet still imperfection, because at the end of the day there's still a needed resurrection and we're all still under construction. It's messy, you get dirty, and there's lots of dust, and a deep foundation is surely a must. Without it, we'll grow weary, we'll get angry, even cuss, Blame others and slander and put up a fuss. On the other hand, we find mutual respect where kindness and courtesy you can detect. Collaboration and communication is fanned and the humble of heart wash feet, wash feet and extend hands. It's a tall order, this loving out loud. It's not for the faint of heart, for the fair weathered or proud. I am but one in a difficult equation, but my spirit knows the answer is a great love invasion. Today love looks to me like silence. For this on God's spirit, I need reliance. Love has many different faces, it travels many different places, leaving loving kindness traces. Meekness matters and humility is key. No place for haughtiness, but instead a bended knee. For every heart and soul can discern when they are loved. It's not rocket science. You don't need a message from above. E- equally, one can tell when messages are mixed. For self, for selfless service and giving, that's not the work of a narcissist. These are the ways to put this tendency in all of us to rest. Be considerate of others. Practice kindness. Seek to bless. I hope that was a blessing to you as you consider. Have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day. Bye for now.